Hello there, folks. Uh, this is part two of the Teak EQA 30BL graphic equalizer system. Uh, now, in today's video, uh, or part two of this, we are going to be opening up the inside of it uh, and seeing how it functions and all the circuitry and everything. Now, uh, the other video, I never showed the back, uh, so I'm going to do that now for you guys. Uh, this is the back of the unit. It's pretty boring, I know. But uh, that's about it. There's your power ratings. There's your uh, other switch. Um, in the other video, I said 100 watts. Uh, I think I said in part one, it's actually 250 here, according to that. And then there's your seal, your genuine sticker thingy and uh, but anyway so uh, I have gone ahead and removed the screws there and I'm gonna set the camera down for a moment and we are in like so Hopefully this will focus. There we go. Now this is your main driver board here. This is what's for the LED panel. So we'll get behind that. As you can see, it's like a matrix uh, display. It's how this functions. You got all those little transistors there. And then these are like your, I don't know if these are your op amps. I think your op amps will be over here because this is where the sliders are. The uh, frequency, the gain and everything where the frequencies are. You see these are all on ribbon cables. They're not soldered directly. Same for the input signal. So there's a lot of uh, stuff going on with the, uh, like uh, there's a microcontroller right here. There's another one here. This may be the op amp for left and the right. Um, some of the older ones, there's usually like small individual. They look, they look like 555 timers. Uh, but apparently here they got like one whole like massive chip uh, for each one uh, for one dedicated for the left and then for the right um, this looks like your few yeah, that's your fuse uh, for the uh, I think it's for the outlet or I'm not sure uh, I don't really want to take all this out because there's a screw there screw there screw there but also because it's kind of I don't want to break the uh, have these off you see the soldering points are kind of rough because it's old this is from the 80s era so yeah I don't really want to mess this up so uh, I'm just gonna leave everything in there uh, but anyway I'll let you look at some of the chip numbers there so you can see little resistors and stuff some potentiometer for adjustments to get those numbers down and uh, I don't know if these are capacitors I think these are capacitors they look like capacitors it's weird but uh, yeah and like I said these are all the transistors this is what turns the uh, the matrix display on and off most likely could be wrong but um, anyway so that's the inside um, but of course luckily when I bought this I actually bought I uh, didn't buy excuse me sorry <laughs> I had the uh, instruction manual that came with it so I'm gonna get I'm gonna go get that now put this aside so uh, be right back okay and we're back this is the instruction manual that came with it and thankfully it came with it because it tells you all the instructions and stuff how to hook it up and you this is also a rack mount system here but uh, it did not come with any of the brackets uh, it just came as it is as you've seen it so I'm gonna try to sit down here I don't think I can Nah, you're out of shot so uh, I'll just stand up then let that focus come on there we go and uh, tells you how to hook everything out here's your controls and functions I'll try to get a good shot here let me start up at the front and you can pause the video 
uh, and look how to set everything. Okay, and then this is the system hookup. As you can see here, there's actually the, uh, well, this is for two tape players, but I actually, have you seen, the, as you've seen what I, uh, in the part one, it actually came with the tape player. It was a double deck, but, uh, and this I think is the amplifier. That's what that's for. But, uh, here you go. Let you guys look at that. You can pause the video. And this also has the schematics uh, as well, which I'll get to in a moment, but um, I'll zoom over this real quick. Let you guys look at that. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. And this is just all the inputs and outputs on the back of the RCA connections. It tells you how to hook it up, etc., etc. And uh, here's the dubbing stuff. get that adjusted for you guys there we go in this next page yeah and here's about the pink noise too that feature Let you guys look at that and this right here my camera will focus there we go and the pink noise feature and everything and all that stuff and this is frequency equalization stuff I don't know, boring, boring, but we'll get into the fun stuff next page, I think. I assume, I think it's the next page. Get my hand out of the way there for you. And there's the graphs of the measurements and stuff. And here we go. Here's your specifications. Oh, of course, it's going to be blurry. Stupid camera. It's going to mess up on the good part. Hopefully, you guys can read that too. I'll zoom in a little bit more. There we go. All your measurements. And then here is the IC. I think these are like the uh, op amps and stuff. I'll zoom down on that. So you guys can take a look at that if you need to. For troubleshooting purposes and other features, just in general if you're curious, out of curiosity. And here is the block diagram. That is in the way. And here is the PCB layout. Very complex. So I'll do it section by section. Oh, come on, focus now. Oh. 
I hope you guys can read that. So that's that. And this is the full diagram layout. The rest of it. I'll try to get it in the shot there. Wait, is this upside down? And it's kind of sideways. And the next page is like the mother of all schematics. <laughs> You'll see why. Because it gives you the complete layout of how everything is. And these are those little transistors I was just showing in the video next to the, uh, the LCD pen or the uh, LED uh, matrix, dot matrix display. And here is the entire schematic. Yeah, that's a lot. I'm going to try to get all this in detail. Hopefully the camera will stay in focus for me. Right here is our display. As you can see all the diode symbols. These are all the, um, I don't know if this is, I don't know if these are the op amps or not. I think this is for the, um, the uh, matrix control. You know, and here's your other little transistors. Yep, these all control the LEDs. And these control each individual line, and then these eight control each individual LED in the line, I think. That's how that works. And here's your sliders, your, well, and here's the resistors uh, for the gain. So, yeah, it looks like it's one whole op amp, and also here's your transistors. These could be the op amps. I I'm not exactly sure. It's very complex uh, circuitry here for me. Personally, so uh, it's too much, too much to go into detail. I'd probably, I'd probably get something wrong anyway. But correct me if I'm wrong in the comments if I'm messing any of this up. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So anyway, and guess what? Here is our parts list. Yeah, two full pages. But I will zoom down for you guys. So you guys, if you ever, if any of you ever need a, um, if you get one of these and you need any of these parts, here's the list. Just get that in frame. There's you go. This all the capacitors right there. Like I said, th these te these technical sheets for the back in the day. These are really they they really made it easy to fix things back then. But uh, nowadays, y y it's companies are like, nope, you gotta send it to us. We don't want to touch it, to, uh, touching anything. But uh, yeah, uh, that's that's about it. So, uh, should write that down probably. Um, but yeah, that's, here's the grounding thing. I don't know if I put that in there. Safety instructions. Yeah, we don't need those. Uh, anyway, so, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like, uh, if you liked it. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down or dislike. Uh, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. I'll try my best to uh, answer it. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.